So then the Chronoclasm looks like a flashback commander, who uses his doubling ability for value, and also seems to have synergy with damage-based board wipes, such as Star of Extinction, which aside from destroying target land, will also deal 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Magma Quake, which can be used at instant speed, dealing X damage to each creature without flying, and each planeswalker, and Starstorm, which will deal X damage to each creature, and has cycling for 3 in case you don't need a board wipe. Out of the 3 of these, Starstorm is by far my favorite. It will definitely hit everything, and you can control how much damage it deals. And then if you don't need it, you can just cycle it away. Not to mention it's instant speed! Another card that I found while making this video is Lava Ball Trap. Now, when I initially saw Lava Ball Trap, I thought, whoa, zero mana to destroy two target lands and four damage to each creature? Sign me up! However, it's not that good. If you actually read it, you'll see that it costs eight mana or five mana, not eight mana or zero mana. Regardless, for five mana, this deals four damage to each creature and destroys two lands. And in most games of Commander, your opponents are going to be putting out multiple lands. Though it's not good. The basics. If you look on YouTube, or on EDH Rec, you will not see what I'm about to describe. You see, Savin is more than just a value-based commander. It's a combo commander, and it allows for a combo that very few people have ever seen. The combo. Now you see, with just three cards in your graveyard, 11 mana, and Savin in play, you can win. This assumes that your opponent doesn't have a counter spell, but if they do, you can just combo off on the next turn. So the way the combo works is you have Time Warp, Mystic Retrieval, and Pull from Eternity in your graveyard. You cast Mystic Retrieval for its flashback cost, which returns Time Warp to your hand. But because the Vin is in play, you're copying it, so you get to return Pull from Eternity too. Time Warp is a spell that gives you an extra turn, so you cast it. And then, if you have mana, you can cast Pull from Eternity, returning Mystic Retrieval to your graveyard. This has put all three of them back in your graveyard. On your extra turn, you can then cast Mystic Retrieval from your graveyard for its flashback cost, which will return Time Warp and Pull from Eternity to your hand, as I just described. This combo then allows you to take infinite turns. With infinite turns, you can win some other way, using, for example, this Jace. The best way to get this combo off is to use a self-mill strategy. Hopefully your opponents will not be too scared, because you're playing Savin after all. How dangerous can he be? Savin is often not targeted by removal, because he's a 2-2, and he basically does nothing. However, there's a strange thing about this combo. It isn't even recognized on EDH Rec. Mystic Retrieval is a card that is often run with Savin, just normally. Time Warp, not so much. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this combo. Please like, and subscribe, and share with someone who likes Magic the Gathering. Unless you don't want to, in which case, that's fine. If you want to see more, check out my video where I break down my Savin deck to explain all the other things it can do other than just combo off like this. Or you could check out this video on why underpowered commanders aren't so underpowered after all.